A local police officer is being called a hero. His quick thinking saved the life of a woman who stopped breathing. That officer jumped into action, giving CPR to that woman until first responders got there. News 8's Bob Wilson live for us in East Hartford, where it all happened. Bob? Yeah, he's the officer, the right man at the right place with the right skills. He actually trains and teaches CPR, and he got to put that training into practice just this week. Officer Woodrow Tinsley had just finished up a call and was pulling into the stop and shop parking lot when a 31 year old woman had collapsed to the ground, not breathing. A good Samaritan had already started CPR. I ran out of my car, ran over, immediately fell for a pulse. I didn't feel one. Um, so at that point, you start chest compressions because you want to get the blood circulating as quickly as possible. Officer Tinsley is an EMT and a certified CPR instructor for the East Hartford Police Department. He continued CPR for several minutes while waiting for the fire department. The person who was blue when I approached her um, actually got color back during the CPR and eventually took what's called an agonal breath and where she just spontaneously went. <gasps> the woman started breathing on her own and her heart started beating again. Officer Tinsley monitored her until the woman was taken away in an ambulance. For me, it was a shock. I was very, you know, you get up after everything is done and you kind of feel like you can conquer the world because you essentially beat death for a day. Now, believe it or not, while Officer Tinsley was able to save the woman's life here at the stop and shop, just three or four years earlier, he was able to perform CPR on a man who had a heart attack right here at the bank, almost in the exact same location. And he says, the takeaway from all of this is that you can do the same thing. He encourages people to go out and take the CPR class. It's only one day and go get what he calls a pocket mask and keep it on you. This is a balloon sack around basically a molded piece and it allows you to create an airtight seal so that you can easily exchange gases between the patient and the, res and the rescuer. Yeah, and he says if you trained in CPR and it's expired, there are a lot of whole new rules and new things about it. He says, as a matter of fact, he teaches a lot of compressions. You want to do it really quickly. He says to the beat of staying alive, I, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Really quickly, he says things have changed. You should take a class, get caught up on it. He says you may be in the right place at the right time. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in East Hartford, News 8.